super excited to share with you an easy way how to create your own makeup template using existing MAC makeup templates you can find online. This is particularly great for those who maybe struggle with drawing faces and maybe just wants to try and draw a new face chart, something which is slightly unusual and more your style. And you can obviously customize that as well. So I wanted to show you what I did few days Classic ago. MAC makeup template. Using a tracing paper. So tracing paper is actually great because you can literally create so much using tracing paper. You can copy, you can customize. It's also a fantastic texture, something if you have a sketchbook, you can add it to your sketchbook as well. So what I did first, I done my template and then on a tracing paper, I did it first with a pencil and then I draw the outlines. And then when I looked at the template, I checked that, you know, I wasn't happy 100% with it. So then I created a second template, which was improved version. And I used afterwards, I used the ink, I used also the white paint to cover all the areas which I thought might be improved. And then I put this template into a scanner and I scanned it and printed out. And that created a makeup template. And this is the makeup template I came up with. I also draw a hand to my makeup template as I'm creating my templates for my use and as I do nail art as well, I can easily draw nails on top. And let me show you. So this was the MAC template and then I traced it to this template. You need a template printout. Then you need a pencil, eraser, and afterwards, when you have done your tracing, you need either a black pen or an ink. So I'm using an ink because I really like uh, how the texture of ink, when you create a line, is just more artistic. But obviously, if you never used ink before, you should probably try it out prior to this, just to make sure so you're doing the My great tracing job. tracing paper. And I'm putting it over, taking my pencil, and now I need to make sure when I'm drawing that I'm holding constantly. So I'm just going to mark the points. And when you're copying it, you can already adjust it's to your style. different style. I'm going to make her face more ovally because she has very distinctive cheekbones in here. I'm going to make her face more oval. And that's already the first step of your customizing, but it's good to have a base. And then I just mark the eyes because it's important that you mark the eyes and roughly you mark where your eyebrows would like to be. Trace it over. Nose, I'm not going to draw this line. And lips are also quite big for me. So most likely I will customize them to my liking. I'm just drawing the outlines. So these are the outlines of my template. So, neck. so then it creates straight away illusion on how they actually, you know, it would look in re real life. So that's what I'm doing. And also it's, it's kind of like the shoulders. And this is all A4. So for the nose, I'm just gonna be doing like this and I might continue the nose line as well just a little bit so when you do your makeup template you are aware now let's do the lips so this is creative challenge number nine my final challenge I'm quite excited about is going to be creative makeup again so I just thought I will ease you into it using a drawing class before. Especially for people who are unsure on how to draw, you can literally just, you know, customize the ideas. If you're unsure on the face, face features and how to draw them automatic, uh, in an anatomy, I would look at uh, an ana anatomy of an actual human and uh, basically try to copy for artists. This is in Latvian, but of course there's, I'm sure there's many templates in internet you can find. And you have all these like faces in here and how to draw the human body 
and I'm pretty sure you can find templates. What I would always suggest is to look at actual uh, images of skeletons first before you draw the hand and then you can actually connect the dots. Then you can measure your, you know, your hand, the proportion of how big is this against this and so on. So for my skulls, they go, I actually have used it quite a lot. I also use this skull for inspiration for my makeup because it's so detailed and so beautiful. And again, you can see where the eyes are, where the nose is, where the teeth are. So it's a great base to start your drawing, looking at artist anatomy books or images. Obviously, we need eyebrows as well. So we just kind of mark where they are. Everyone has different eyebrows. You can kind of create your own shape, how you would like them. For my eyes, I like to draw the this area as well, because I know we have the crease here. And then you just keep comparing basically both sides. And remember, this is only pencil. Pencil can be erased, so you can make mistakes. It's absolutely okay to make mistakes. And you can also redraw this drawing multiple times to get the perfect template for you. Also, always compare the lines when you're drawing everything. Just compare the lines of everything, basically, when you're doing proportions. So probably I will start with this side first. When I'm using the ink, the tip is to just when you take a little bit, try to go long strokes. More longer those strokes are going to be, more efficient your drawing is going to be as well. I like to move my drawing so it's easier for me to access all the parts. The template done and I will wait for this to dry and afterwards we'll share with you the final now result. I'm going to be using acrylic white paint and a paintbrush to just uh, erase some of the mistakes. My main makeup template dried and now I'm going to be using eraser and I will erase all the pencil lines. template, 
what I'm gonna do, I will wait for it to dry fully and then I will scan in the printer and I'll show you the end result. Okay, so this is a final result for my makeup template in a scanner, in a printer, and then I opened it in Photoshop and I printed it out. You see, you can create your own makeup template and you can customize it by using this easy method. Hope it was useful. See you later. Bye-bye.